Southampton Ipswich, as I mentioned, yet to win this season. Ipswich have two points on the board, though, after mm. two successive draws. Southampton, though, they've lost all four of their games and have scored just the one goal. Bit of pressure already building, it seems, on the Southampton manager, Russell Martin, uh, to adapt his style of play, although he has seemed to have suggested that's not going to happen. Ahead of this game, the Saints boss spoke about how returning to the Premier League has impacted his team. Of course, it's only natural, right? People going in it for the first time, some guys being hurt by it the last time they're in it. Um, also, the, the whole the whole place, how it, how it was affected last time in the Premier League. So um, maybe it's been a bit of trepidation that's led to a few things that probably wouldn't happen if the guys are really in flow. But I think any team that we've had over the five seasons we've been a management group is the team gets better and better and they learn very quickly and they learn a lot on the young players and the new players. Once they really integrate and understand what they are required to do, the team finds a rhythm and a flow and we have to do it very, very quickly because because probably really the only difference is the external noise and the scrutiny and everything else in the Premier League, which changes people's perception and feelings sometimes. But not ours. We'll continue to keep doing what we're doing. And as I said, keep getting better. And I feel like we are. And for half an hour on Man- against Manchester United, the guys really showed that. And then we make 10 changes and the team looks so similar in the way it plays, which I'm so pleased about. Um, and now we have to do the same again on, on Saturday. I mean, I get where he's coming from there. When you make changes, like he's alluding to, I guess, in the League Cup where they beat Everton on penalties, that yep. the system still works because they're all playing a similar style of football. And ultimately, every manager wants that, that whoever comes in can play the way that he wants them to play. The problem for Southampton at this present moment, Cass, is that it's not, other than winning on penalties in the League Cup, it's not proving fruitful in the league. No. And they are playing risky football at times I know Brentford in particular because I was at that game yeah. I've spoken about it before um, they picked them off because they had a high press Brentford and even and Southampton yeah. were keen to play out and yet as I say it didn't work because as I'd say probably all three of Brentford's goals pretty much came from them just causing lots of issues on Southampton's defenders yeah um what's the point of having a philosophy if it doesn't earn your, earn your points now mm. Vincent Company came up with a very exciting Burnley team, kept that for sol- philosophy, yeah, um, and it backfired. Then he got the Bayern Munich job. I don't yeah. think Russell Martin is going to get the Bayern Munich job, um, but, but it can lead to other jobs if I, people think I, oh, we can see what you're trying to do. You yeah, just don't yeah. have the players no. necessarily. Well, that is a bit. Look, he's been a manager at MK Dons, Swansea, yeah. and Southampton. I understand what he means about the way he wants to play, but. You have to adapt. I don't like saying plan B. I always feel like you adapt. I watched Ipswich at Brighton last week and I thought Ipswich really struggled and fought like hell in the game, really battled. But they weren't the Ipswich that played in the championship. They were a little bit more adventurous and a little bit more open. Um, and I thought, I gave them a lot of credit for how they got a point out of the game because mm, I, thought, I, I thought, do you know what? There's something that... Ipswich did today, which some teams who get promoted in uh, in a certain fashion, they had to dig deep. The problem Russell's got is the quality he's playing against. Mm. So there's an element of being streetwise, I suppose. Well, you yeah, can see, good. That, see yeah. that with Ipswich, yeah. and less so with Southampton at this moment in time. No, look, listen, who knows? Come the end of the season, it might be all right for Southampton that actually the players have gotten used well, to I playing would... some of these... Yeah, caliber of players that you're talking about, or teams that they're well, you're talking about. Yeah, look, the idea is possession of the ball, isn't it? Yeah. Southampton want to dominate, and which, and if you look at the numbers, they're dominating the ball in games in the Premier League as well. Now, with that, there is a lot of, I would say, possession being kept by centre halves. Look at two centre halves; mm-hmm. it's very much from there to there to AB, and then you'll go to the goals are going against column. If you go to the goals against Cullum, how many of the end goals have been conceded with losing the ball with your passing? Whether it's been from centre half to centre half or full back to midfielder, you know, and they've conceded a high number of goals losing the ball in a bad area that have cost them dearly. Whether it's been a goalkeeper kicking the ball to the opposition, trying to thread a ball through a high eye of a needle, that's where I think it gets a little bit daft. Well, they've conceded eight goals yeah. this season from their first four games. And as we've mentioned, they've only scored the one as well. If you look at their fixture list now coming up, there are some, let's say, what you might deem winnable games, mm. starting with this Ipswich one. Then they've got 
Bournemouth, who haven't had a bad, terrible start to this season as well. Uh, they've all got Leicester coming up as well. Uh, they have got Arsenal sandwiched in between Bournemouth and, and Leicester, but um, I mean, these are the kind of games they have to get points out of, surely. Yeah, they do. But because it, they've also got Manchester City after Leicester. Yeah, well, the, the hard ones are coming after that. But again, if you watch the Man United game at St Mary's and that, where they won 3 0, teams are knowing what they're doing. They're going, well, we're gonna, we're, we are going to overload and just get try and press you so high and stop you getting out. And if you give it to us, we're going to have great chances to score. Yeah. And of course. We always say this. Possession stats can look great. Of yeah. course they can. 50-odd percent possession, 60 or whatever it is. But how much of that is offensive and defensive? Yeah. And if it is, like you say, just knocking it between defenders, is that really productive? No. I, uh, well, I always argue it's purpose football, where yes. you're playing with a purpose to try and score. And I, I don't have a problem with a style if you want to you know, get it out and play down. and you know, Lots of teams do it. You have to be brilliantly good at it. But the problem is the Premier League have high-quality technical players who don't give you the ball mm. when they get pressed. They don't. They can keep the ball away from you. I remember earlier this season, Russell Martin said that all they need to do is score their first goal and they will relax. <coughs> he's, he's now switched it to, if we can just win our first game, the players will relax. And I get where he's coming from. Of course, that makes absolute sense. But the pressure does seem to be building a little bit on him. And if you believe some reports, some were saying that the board of Southampton are still are uneasy with the fact he's not happy or not uh, not keen to adjust the style of play. Just quick word on, on Ipswich before we have to hit a break because I'm conscious of the time. Uh, as you say, they earn a, a good point at Brighton, really good defensive display. Their yeah. keeper, Murich, was brilliant for them. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.